Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. It's Thursday. Bet you didn't know that. Dinosaucers! Diddle do! What are you singing? Dinosaucers, or the theme song Dinosaucers, one of the greatest television shows of all time. It's about space dinosaurs that come to Earth and they befriend four young Earthlings. But guess what, Lee? Turns out it wasn't a cartoon at all. And it wasn't fictional either, it was real. It was actually a reality television show from the future. Or at least, that's what I've deduced. W what It's true, and I know this because a science guy made a statement in a paper that he authored that said aliens might actually be super intelligent and cunning dinosaurs. Joe, don't play with my heart. I won't! Dr. Ronald Breslow published his research in the Journal of American Chemical Society and it actually focused on things like the shape and orientation of stuff like RNA and DNA, whatever. But in the conclusion, he made a lighthearted assumption that just plain excites internet people. When talking about how life evolved elsewhere in the cosmos, Breslow concluded, Such life forms could be well advanced versions of dinosaurs if mammals did not have the good fortune to have dinosaurs wiped out by an asteroidal collision, as on Earth. We would be better off not meeting them. Okay, two questions. One. Why would we be better off not meeting our space dino brethren? And two, how did you even come to this wonderful conclusion? Well, let me break it down for you on a building blocks of life type of level. He says it all comes down to the orientation or shape of things like DNA, RNA, amino acids, and sugars. Basically, the orientation of these can be left-handed or right-handed. Except for some bacteria, all life on planet Earth retains left-handed amino acids and right-handed sugars. This left or right orientation theory is called chirality. Ah, uh, you. Well, the theory of chirality coincides with a the theory called panspermia, which is that life basically can hop from planet to planet via meteorites. Humanoids and other mammals here on Earth were very fortunate that dinos bit the big one. But according to these theories, if Earth life was spawned from similar life forms on another planet, say a planet where dinos didn't die out, but in fact thrived, and eventually discovered dino fire, and then formed dino societies, and then eventually experienced a dino reformation, which was followed by a dino industrial revolution, and then they created the dino internet, then maybe, maybe we might be able to possibly kind of jokingly theorize that dino saucers do in fact exist. That seems like an outlandish conclusion. I mean, dinosaurs were just an amazing, wonderful part of how life evolved on Earth. To make this assumption is to assume that life everywhere had to go through some dino phase. And you know what, Joe? That's an assumption I am more than willing to make. Yeah, dino saucers! Or, if they truly are an advanced dino species that has mastered space and time travel, I'm gonna assume they have long since mastered robotics and have most likely fused with their technology. Dinobots! Dino exactly! Dinobots from Transformers! You're blowing my mind! Wait, what about Dino Riders? Oh, Dino Riders. Oh, man. Although another great 80s cartoon focusing on dinosaurs, it's a totally different thing, Lee. But it does bring up a very good point. Or shall I say, a warning. That I'll give to any space dinos thinking about invading Earth in an attempt to terraform it for their space dino civilization. You come here with evil intentions, and you can be damn sure that we'll break you. Strap saddles on your scaly backs and become the Dino Riders we humans were destined to be. I'm gonna get my Yuki. My beautiful, beautiful Yuki. It's your choice, space dinos. You can be allies or we can be sworn enemies. It doesn't matter. Either way, Michael Bay is already making the movie. So guys, what do you think about this theory and what other species do you hope are roaming around space? Leave a comment down below. Click the like and subscribe buttons and then hit this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to see the five stories of the day or any story that we've covered ever. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Dinosaurs! Doodly-doo, doodly-doo, doodly-doo.